Alright, yo, what's going on everybody? It's Smitty back with another Minecraft tutorial video. Today, guys, I'm going to show you how to get shaders on Minecraft Java Edition. This is for Mac and Windows. Go to the timestamps in the description. If you have any comments, leave them down, uh, down below. I'll definitely help you. And let's get right into this. So, beginning with Windows, what you want to do is go into the description of this video, and you want to go to the first link that says Shader. And in that, it'll take you to this website right here. And you want to go to where it says Cylinders Vibrant Shaders V1.29, right here, that I just have highlighted. And you want to go ahead and click Download right next to it. Now, after you press Download, you want to make sure to not press anything that shows up on your screen here, because what you need to do is wait a couple seconds look up in the top right here until it says skip then you want to skip everything don't click anything on that screen that's viruses but anyways once you skip all those ads right there it'll take you to this media fire page and all you want to do is simply click download right here if it opens opens up a pop-up just close out of that and there you go you've started downloading the shaders perfect step one done so now what you want to do is go to the second link in the description that says Windows Optifine and what you want to do is go to this website right here it says downloads and you what you want to do is go under Minecraft 1.17.1 just like that you can look at the old versions and stuff if you if you're on an older version you can click on these buttons but what we want is this one in blue right here and and instead of clicking on download, you want to go to where it says mirror right here. Click on that. After you click on mirror, it'll take you right here. And all you got to do is simply click download. And there you go. You've now downloaded the second item. And that is step two done. Perfect. You want to right click and hit keep on it also. If it says it doesn't want to download it. Right click and hit keep. And there you go. You got that downloaded. Perfect. So now what you want to do is go to the third link in the description with Windows, and this will take you to the Java download. Now what you want to do is look right here, and you want to click on Windows, because you're on Windows, and you want to go to the 64 installer right here, go over to the right, and click on that download prompt right there. It'll bring up this, click you, you accept the terms, and then you want to go ahead and press download, and then just like that, that'll go into your downloads folder, and perfect, we've got the three things that we need downloaded right away, nice and easy. So once you have those three things downloaded, what you want to do is go to the bottom left of your computer right here, and you want to type in down, just like that, downloads, and you want to go to your downloads folder. You'll see it right here if you type in the first few letters. What you want to do is click on that and you'll see the latest three things that we downloaded right here. All you want to do is simply highlight them and then drag them onto your desktop just like this. The first item we're going to open here is the JDK Java download. So right here, it's this one on the top right here. What you want to do is just simply click on it, open like you normally would, and then actually what that will do is have you install this little program right here. And you just want to go ahead and install it just like how you would any other thing on Windows. And then you'll eventually get to this screen right here, which is the final screen, and that's perfect. Then you just want to simply click close. And that is all that we needed the JDK file for. So you can drag that out of the way, and now we're going to go ahead and try to start Optifine here. So what you want to do is right click Optifine just like this. You want to go down to open with, and after clicking open with, it'll go, it'll have this pop up, and you want to find Java. You want to find the Java. You might have to go into more apps just like this but you want to find a thing that says open with Java if you don't have it try restarting your computer and that should make it show up now there is a chance that when you try to open Optifine with Java it'll quickly show up and then close its uh, application just like you saw there but I'm gonna show you how to fix that because what we want to have happen is when we open it with Java we want to get this screen right here but I'll show you what to do if you don't get that screen so to fix this problem go into the description of this video and you want to go to the fourth link under the Windows files and you'll see this jar fix right here dot exe and you want to go to where it says download from author's website and you just want to simply download it just like that and it will go into your downloads now all you got to do is simply click on this program let it run and it will fix all of your issues for you so just open it up install it and let it do its thing and it will fix the problem that you may be having to try to get optifine to start using java so you get the screen where it says that it fixed it you hit ok and then you go back to optifine right click open with and then go to java and just like that it will work now epic fix and everything should be good in life so now that we're at this screen all you have to do is simply click the install button just like as you would with any other program and it will simply install itself perfect you'll get it installed successfully signed and everything will be good perfect and yeah just click install so after we have that installed we are finally ready to go ahead and open up minecraft just as you normally would and on the bottom left here you'll see optifine just like this if you don't have optifine right here what you want to do is go up here to installations and then you want to go to new installation you want to name it whatever i'll just name it optifine and then you want to go to version and you want to find the version the latest the optifine version that you uh, downloaded which was 1.17.1 and just like that, you can manually add it. But uh, for most people, you'll just have this red version right here of Optifine, and that will get the job done. So yeah, make sure you have that selected, and go ahead and start up Minecraft with that one selected. Now, once you're in Minecraft, feel free to just load up one of your worlds. And what you want to do is click Options right here, go to the Options thing. Then you want to go to Video Settings right here. After you click on that, you want to go to where it says Shaders right there. And then open that up, and that will open up the place where all your shaders are located. Which, for you, will probably be nothing if you're watching this video. But what you want to do is go to the bottom left right here, where it says Shaders folder, and you want to open that up. So it will kind of open up out of Minecraft right here, and it'll take you to the screen. And all you want to do is drag in the zip file of the shaders that we downloaded right away. And now that's all you got to do. Drag it in there, and the shaders will be imported into Minecraft, and you should be good to go. Return to Minecraft and go to your shaders panel and you will see your options right there and then all you have to literally do is just click on them and they will activate so yeah you click on whichever option you want and then you hit done and then you return to your game and just like that you will have them loaded in look at those water textures just so smooth but uh, yeah if something's not working try to restart minecraft maybe that'll work but yeah that's how you get shaders of minecraft windows uh, 10 very easy and uh, just a very easy and quick tutorial there. If you have any problems, leave it down below. But let's move on to Mac. So to begin the process of getting shaders on Mac, what you want to do is go to the Mac first link in the description, and it will say Mac Shaders. And it'll take you to this website right here, and you want to go to where it says Silders Enhanced Default Version 1.12 in the middle of the screen. And all you want to do is simply go ahead and click Download right next to that. And after clicking that, it'll kind of redirect you to this site where a whole bunch of crap's going to pop up on your screen. Do not click any of this. This is just viruses. Don't click it. This is safe, though. If 
you look on the top right here and you just want to click skip that will get you past all the viruses do not click anything that shows up on your screen just wait until it says you can skip and go ahead and skip but anyways after getting past that all you want to do it'll take you to this website right here mediafire download you want to click download just like that and it will put the shaders into a download folder up here on the top right and that is perfect step one done so then what you want to do is go into the description of this video where it says Mac Java. It'll be the second link for the Mac, and you want to go down to this website, scroll down to where it says Mac OS, just like this, because you're on Mac. You want to click on that, and then what you want to do is the top one right here is Time64 DMG Installer. Go ahead and click Download to the right right here. After clicking that, it'll ask if you accept their terms. Yep, we accept them, and then go ahead and hit Download. Allow the download, and it will go into your Downloads folder along with the shaders. Two things downloaded, one more thing, let's get into it. So for this last download, we need Optifine on our Mac. So go into the Macintosh downloads in the description of this video. It'll be the third link, it'll say Mac Optifine. And right here, you want to go under Minecraft 1.17. Now once here, we want to click Mirror right here, and that will take us to this download page right here. And then just simply click Download, that will download Optifine. Three out of three things downloaded, and we are very close to getting these shaders on the Mac. Make sure you hit Allow, and there you go. That will go into your Downloads folder along with the other two things. Everything should be going smooth. So after doing that, all you want to do is go to the desktop of your Mac, and you want to look on the bottom left here where it says Finder. You want to click on Finder, and then it'll open this up, and on the left side you'll see Downloads right here. You want to click Downloads, and then on the top of this you'll see our latest three things that we downloaded, which are the shaders and all the programs that we need to run them. So highlight those three things, and then drag them onto your desktop, just so we can see them very easily. So now that we have everything here, what you want to first do is go to the one that starts with JDK. This is the Java installer. So it says JDK, all you want to do is simply click on it, it will get this opening right here. Uh, you want to click right here on the package and uh, that will start the uh, installer menu right here. So just as you would install anything else, you just want to keep hitting continue allow and let that stuff install onto your computer. And then eventually you'll get the screen that says, oh, install successful, and that, that's all that you need the JDK for. You can move that out of the way and go up to Optifine just like this. So now that we have Java installed, what you want to do is right click on Optifine, you want to hit open with, and then you want to hit jar launcher right here. And that will open it with the program that we just downloaded, which is Java, and that is perfect. Just click on that and it will say, do you want to do this? Yep, sure, continue, open. And just like that, it'll bring you to this page right here. And all you want to do is simply hit install Optifine and just like that wait a little bit and it will be installed onto your computer which is perfect so after doing that we are now getting very close to getting shaders but we have one more step to do here what we want to do is make a brand new folder on the desktop so you can do this by hitting command shift and that'll make a new folder or you can right click the desktop and then hit new folder there are a couple different ways to do it but we need a new folder along with the shaders folder that we downloaded right away so once you have this new folder downloaded or created anyway not downloaded what you want to do is rename it to something I guess it could be whatever you want but preferably the name of the shaders that you're gonna put in here so we're doing silder shaders so I renamed it silder shaders and then all you have to do is simply drag the shaders that we downloaded right away into this empty new file just like this and that's all you gotta do drag it into the empty folder and that is perfect we just need that for an extra step it just helps the game recognize what it is and that's all you gotta do so after dragging these shaders that we downloaded right away into the new empty folder all you gotta do is open up minecraft just like this and on the left side right here you want to go to where it says latest release and you want to change it to optifine just like this you should see it here if you had optifine installed correctly but anyways yeah just click that and then go ahead and start up minecraft and hit play just as you normally would and once you have the game loaded up, what you want to do from the menu screen is click Options right here. That'll take you to this page right here where you want to go click on Video Settings. After clicking on Video Settings, you want to go right here and click on Shaders. And then just like that, it'll take you to the panel where it shows all the shaders that you have installed, which will probably be zero because you're watching this video. But yeah. But what you want to do from this screen is click on the bottom left here where it says Shaders folder. You want to click on that button just like that, and that will actually open it up out of the game just like, uh, just like this. And it'll say Shader Packs in the top. That's perfect. All you want to do is drag that folder that we just created into the Shader Packs that has the original shaders that we downloaded in there. And that should be perfect. Yeah, install it in there just like that. And that's all you got to do literally to get shaders into your Minecraft game on, uh, on uh, Mac. It's very easy. Go back into Minecraft, maybe restart it, and it should be right there. And there you go. You got the, you got the name of the folder that you made. Seal those shaders. Click on that. Hit done. And then just go open up one of your worlds as you normally would. And there you go. You will now have shaders on. And it's pretty epic. That's how you get them on Mac for Java. Now these things take a little bit of power to run, and clearly my Mac does not is not strong enough to handle this because my frames are terrible. So you might want to go find some different shader options out there if these don't work for you. Maybe some that aren't so intense. But uh, yeah, this is what I, if you have a strong Mac, you could, you could use these, but my laptop is just not handling it. My frames are terrible. But anyways, that's how you get the, get the shaders for Java on Macintosh. But anyways, I want to thank you all so much for watching the video. Hopefully you found this helpful. Any like likes or subscriptions are greatly appreciated. Again, any comments or any questions, leave them in the comments down below because I respond to like everybody. But yeah, it's pretty fun, pretty sweet. Hopefully you guys enjoy these shaders. It's pretty cool. And until the next one, it's been Spinny. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.